pretty. It is so pretty. Isn't it pretty? This game is uh, how old? About six years? Still looks amazing. A locked door is no obstacle for a skilled thief. And this is what we are a skilled thief. Use this door with your right mouse button to enter lock packing mode. Then use the mouse to pick the lock. Uh, alright, alright. I won't read that out because you will see how that works by watching it rather than getting it explained. There we go. Open the door. Go in. Trading successor! So good, so good. Hmm. Tempting. Yep, yep, yep. Letters. There's a bad guy. How do I know that it's a bad guy? Because he's bold. Bold guys are always evil. Unless, unless, of course, they're good. Then they're not evil. Then they're good. You must learn to ambush your opponents. One hit from the blackjack can take down an opponent silently. To blackjack successfully, you must strike from behind when your opponent is not aware of your presence. Um, that is the meaning of. No, uh, alright, okay. Uh, select your blackjack by pressing. What what the what's that bracket? The bracket? Is that a bracket? Uh, by pressing a button, then sneak up on the innkeeper. I take the left mouse button to knock him out. Okay, I have my blackjack equipped. Pressing Better talk to that tailor. This suit doesn't feel like silk. I'm sure I overpaid. Maybe you can toss in a few matching kerchiefs to sweeten the deal. Poor guy. His suit itches. Ooh, that looks painful. If you leave bodies around, they might get noticed. Highlight a body by centering it on the screen, then press right mouse button to pick the body up. Find a clear area to drop the body, then press right mouse button again to drop it. Pick up the innkeeper, then hide his body in the ladder room you just came from. Can do. What? The down there? Seriously? I. He'll break his freaking neck. Bam. Okay. Wow. Talking about setting the mood. Your second objective is to locate Lord Julian. The guest registry on the counter may contain a clue about where he can be found. Highlight the book and press right mouse button to read it. Oh. I really feel sorry for this poor guy. Maybe bald, but... No, that's no way to go. I'm, I'm a terrible person. I didn't notice that. I, I, I played this game uh, once uh, through the end uh, years ago, about, I don't know, a couple of years, five, six years. And uh, the first one, two missions again, about two years later. So this is about uh, half blind, I'd say. I will remember some and forgot the most. But uh, this, um, well, is pretty obvious. Lord Julian. Peony sweet. P peony? Peony! P pony? Peony? The pony sweet. Whatever. Lord Julian. <laughs> Wouldn't do to have anyone think he was just Julian. Oh, look at that kitty cat. Kitty cat. Hi, kitty. Hi. 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 
Oh, hi, kitty cat. Oh, how are you doing? Huh? How are you doing, kitty? Oh, fine, kitty cat. Fine, kitty. Oh, yeah, I, I gotta work. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna go. Oh. oh, fluffy. Little fluffy kitty. Where you go? There, there. Nice kitty, nice kitty. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the job. Always working, working, working. Uh, check your map to find out where Lord Julian's room is. It's always a good idea to check the map when you're trying to get somewhere. You can use mm to view your map. Yeah, the map is not that useful. It's a more a rough sketch than a map, really. So uh, I won't use that too often. Oh, look at that! There's another shiny blue arrow. And another shiny blue arrow. It's loot. An observant, <laughs> yeah, an observant thief keeps an eye out for valuable objects, such as this goblet. The loot, you, the loot you steal can later be sold to your fence for cash. Highlight the goblet and press rise more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can do that. Uh, you can press up against walls to decrease your visibility in the light gem and to fit into narrow shadows to enter wall flattening mode. That's that's a name. Wall flattening mode. Enter wall flattening mode. Stand very close to wall and press R. To, to exit wall flattening mode, press R again. That's a bracket. Practice by flattening against this wall, is it? No, it's a T. Damn it. Uh, yeah. You get the picture. Here we are. And what? I didn't do anything. Didn't press R. No, I pressed R. Yeah, welcome to Kunalingus Yoga with Garrett. Namaste. Okay. Let's proceed. And, uh, uh, hello. Look at that. A guard. That's the door to Lord Julian's room, but the guard is in your way. You can distract him by using a noisemaker arrow. Yeah, very sneaky. Shoot the noisemaker arrow down the hall and he will run towards the noise to investigate. Use 7 to select the noisemaker arrow and left mouse button to shoot it. Then proceed through the door while the guard is distracted. Pressing 7. <sighs> Standing up. Bless you. Bam. Uh, that sounded awfully strange. Yeah, it sounded. I feel like I'm getting shut the door. Uh, not very thief-like. My humble opinion. There we go. Loot, 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 loot. No loot. Well, sometimes. Things don't work out as expected. Lord Julian isn't here in the room. And neither is the velvet bag you're trying to steal. Found a clue which tells you where he has gone. And your objectives will update with his new location. You can use O to view your objectives. For important information on how to complete them, use the scroll bar to see notes and restrictions below your objectives. Alrighty. Hmm. More loot. And... Oh, let's have a read. My friend and honored Lord Julian, I will meet you in the Lancaster room tonight. I trust you will be mindful of the risks involved and be generous. Morris the Cook. His lordship has gone for a walk. Can't have gone far. 
and I have a feeling where to go. Just a feeling, you know. I'm a thief and all that. I feel things. Do, 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 do. Okay. Don't get cocky. I hear someone. I don't see anyone. I'm taking this anyway. Lord Julian is here, sitting near the fire, talking to someone. Most the cook, I assume. His purse is right next to him. Sneak up and steal the purse without being seen or heard by anyone in the room. When you've got the purse, proceed into the kitchen. Stick to the shadows. Walk silently and move while your opponent's backs are turned. Keep an eye on your light jam and use your tools if you need to. If the guard starts searching for you, sneak away from him carefully. Okay, I think I got it. A guard? <laughs> and shiny blue arrow, Lord Julian and Morris the cook. And didn't I... Wait. Ah, here. Zoom. And back. And there. Okay. Not that useful, but uh, pretty cool. I guess press uh, Garrett and presses chicks and bars or uh, taverns. My lord. Five picked men with me. And we cut our way through. He's your cousin, my lord. I won the bet. My shaft was closer by a thumb's width. The bloodline opal should rightfully be mine. If I may, my lord, I can help you. I know the castle. Well, you're a cook. What could you know? Every evening after Keep sunset, moving. the supply wagon comes through that gate and into the courtyard. And no one looks twice. Arrange for your men to be inside one evening. And then we cut our way through. Five good men against twenty. And my accursed cousin. My lord, listen. There is a passage leading into the castle from the courtyard. I can open it for you when you give me the signal. The torch in the lion's head sconce. You must put it out. The lion's head torch. Yes. And when I reach the vault and hold the bloodline opal, I will take my place as head of the family. The Lady Elizabeth will be waiting. Even now she'll be flattering him, giving me time to return. Bless you. Only the medallion is the only key, my lord. You must keep hold of it. You forget Lord Ember has another. I hear he guards it with his life. My lord? I wish only for peace in the household. The opal is mine. I won that bet, Morris. I won it. Hmm. Hmm. Not for you, my friend. Question is: sneaking around or oh, clapping him? Clap. Kaboom. On the head! On the head! Bam! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do that. I prefer that. <laughs> and you go down. Yeah, you can stay there. Lying in the dark. <laughs> Precious, ah, my precious, you're mine now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 